Well, some days when when it's you know obviously with running three businesses, some days you come home and you you're like, gosh, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. And then when you sit down and say, and Trish is good at doing this, is saying to me, well, have a look what we've done in 12 months. Have a look what we've done in two years. And then you look at um, your cap and you say, well, this is what we wanted to achieve in 10 years. <laughs> it's a bit frightening when it's not when it's within reach in four or five years. <laughs> We're going to have to alter this. <laughs> this is this is really. Perhaps we weren't ambitious yeah, enough. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps. And I know you guys say just put it out there, and, and we did two years ago, and we thought we did. Well, we thought we did, and now you look at the the reality of of what you can achieve. It's mind-boggling. <laughs> it really is. You're right when you say though, it is what you put into it, is what you get out of it. And I think for us, the the good part about that for us is that's what our children are going to learn. They're going to learn that from us. Yeah. So that's probably the biggest it, takeaway at the end of it. it. It's a shift in generational thinking. Yeah. So what would you say to um, another farming family thinking about making a commitment to take control? Definitely recommend it. Yeah. Um, even if you only get a few things out of it, it will improve what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, not everyone's ready to make grand changes or in a position to do that. I mean, every farming business is different and unique. We all know that. But the Take Control program will offer something to make a difference in your business. There's no doubt about it. So. And the more that you can implement, the more that you can yeah. you can get out of it in the end. And by doing one part of Take Control might open your mind up to the other part once it's done. It's very unique because it's not technical training. Um, this is about business. It's more it's, practical to yeah. the business. And yeah. you look at Greg and Greg's experience with the technical stuff, where else can you get that? Yeah. It's okay if, you, if the technical farming is what you like, that's yeah. fine too. But if you want to go to that next level, then this helps you do that as well. Yeah. So either way you win, if you want to stay doing what you're doing, that's yeah. okay. But you will implement something even though you don't want to go um, further. Yeah. How was life for you, Simon, before the Take Control program and making a start with Farm Owners Academy? Hectic and being pulled in different directions. Our business was multiple enterprises and uh, we weren't really spending time on focusing on one particular thing. So it was, I would have to say, yeah, running around putting out spot fires all the time. It was not organised, like it was no um, day to day was different. So it wasn't asked uh, have a look at the, the week or the month or the year and say we need to do this, this and this. Um, and that sometimes meant that things clashed or didn't get done or there were things going on with school or things that we just had to um, prioritise over other things when we could. Um, sometimes we could, sometimes we couldn't. How does life look? Simon, what have you achieved and um, what's different now from then? Well, one of the things um, that we, we really got from Take Control and listening to Greg and Andrew in those early days was to find our focus in our business and focus on that enterprise, not have three or four or five enterprises running, trying to mitigate risk. Focus on one enterprise, find your passion, um, find your passion, focus on that. And that's just made a huge difference because it's taken away all this other stuff that needs to be done. It, it, you can concentrate on one enterprise. And, um, and then we started by utilising contractors more. Um, and then um, once we got that in place, now we've employed someone um, to to do all that, that sort of work. So they, they manage the contractors and the day-to-day -day running the farm. Well, it's allowed us to focus on our um, off-farm business more. And it's also allowed us to, um, to, to be involved with another business in partnership, farming business. So um, I can drive out the front gate here and know that I don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day stuff. 
part of it is looking at a big picture and having a goal and a vision and focusing everything towards that as opposed to the day to day. How does the future look now for you relative to 12, 18 months, two years ago? I, one of the things that I think um, it helped us do is by letting go of some things opened up avenues for other things that we're all focused on and the minute we let go of a couple of things in the business um, people and opportunities turned up the vacuum effect came to fruition and uh, I think that's um, that's a big thing that there's so many opportunities out there to learn more about how you can achieve some of the success that these wonderful families are achieving, jump onto our website, understand our Take Control program. We have limited places available between now and the 23rd of June. We encourage you to get on board and be part of our growing community. Thank you and bye for now.